Ectosage here on the Sage channel, and I present to you, as I try to every year and have failed rather miserably as of late, a Christmas tree. Now, unlike past years where it was in Space Engineers, this one is in a different game. A, uh, VR game. A VR chat game called VR Chat. It, it's straightforward. Ta-da! I have made a VR Chat world to celebrate Christmas and the New Year. I did it all in about four days, maybe five, I don't know, three to five days. It was a lot. I felt very sick, but it's there. I've done everything except for the textures. The textures, the marble, and the uh, leaves. I didn't do those. Those were done from, well, somebody on textures.com. There will be a link in the description below. But I'm very, very, very proud of this world, and I'd like to show you around it a wee bit. The first thing I'd like to show you guys, though, is the Christmas tree, which, of course, I called it leaves, really. It's just weird patterned cloth, because I thought that would be really cool to have cloth, like, foldy things and, you know, it's kind of scroll work that would make up the actual tree. I thought about having it go kind of red, green, red, green, but I decided in the end to just leave it with all green and then have the nice, lovely gold trim on it. The gold, of course, is just a simple material. No textures applied there, so no link to textures.com gonna come your way for that one. Now, I did mention red green i did use that over here where i have the green and the red you see it's very simple you have red and then you have green and then you have red again and i'm just babbling nothing the idea was it would almost be like like the tree instead of actually having greenery and shrubbery we just have these cloth things so this is my weird imagination of having greenery spread all around your place, sprouting up from strange little spots. And I'm sorry for any mic bumps that happen. VR sometimes has cables, and they jump at you. And of course, we have this strange metallic thing that I've stuck up here because it kind of symbolizes a tree. You can see it's got the cuts into it that make that sort of tree shape as well. Um, and of course, it's ridiculously reflective. Showing off a bit of the skybox, which I also made, but I'm not the happiest with. It's actually, um, a wee bit finicky. And of course, at first glance, the skybox looks pretty good. It's pretty nice. But if you look at that lovely tower out there, which is basically the same tower we're standing upon right now, you might notice the base of it gets cut off a little bit. And you'll notice that around, well, a few of those towers out there. Unfortunately, I spent a whole day, pretty much, trying to fix that issue, but Blender just refused to render things out the way I wanted, so, well, it's what you get. I wanted this out by Christmas, and if you didn't know, it's actually been up and live on VRChat since Christmas Day. Woohoo. Yeah, I rushed this, and I'm very proud of how it turned out. Now, if we were to go ahead and jump off of here, you can actually see the tower we're on. And, of course, before you actually see the falling, I'd like to point out the clouds themselves, which... Yeah, I'm aware they don't look too good. They have some issues on them. But hey, I'm pretty happy with the tower itself. And then, of course, no VR chat world is complete without mirrors, because that's what everyone likes to do in VR chat, sit around and look at themselves and their friends in mirrors. So, I have controls here for mirrors. Please note, sometimes they glitch out, that's not my fault. VR chat just hates me. But we have two buttons right here and here, and then another one here for chair colliders. If we go ahead and click this friend, you'll turn on a simple mirror where you'll be able to see yourself in it and nobody else. Click it again, you get to see everybody else and yourself in horrible kind of pixelated graphics, and then of course click it again and you get like, well, pretty much perfect graphics. Pretty, pretty graphics. Um, and of course, you can see in the mirror now, or at least you should be able to see if I've lined this camera, bleh, which I wasn't happy with the positioning of the camera, so I moved it. But now you can see we have this nice little booth to sit down and just relax with your friends. And of course, if you turned off the mirror, well, you know what you would see? A pretty Christmas tree. So let's actually go back over here. Boop. Ta-da. Pretty Christmas tree. And now the angle looks wrong. But we'll turn that back on. So you can see the booth, so I can demonstrate this other button over here, the big long one, clicky clicks, and now I no longer jitter up into the sky, because it's a collision button. And everybody who's watching this who knows anything about anything already knows what a collision button does, so I've just run my mouth for no purpose. But anyway, I just found it useful. There's no actual seat things to click down on. Um, 
So sorry if you're on desktop or you don't have full body. No fun for you, I guess. It's just what it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? And of course, I mentioned the fact that there were two buttons here. So if we go ahead and click the other one, we get the same mirror setup. Except for this time, of course. Ta-da! You can see the tree. So you and your friends can sit down in front of the tree and enjoy staring at yourselves and the big giganto tree in front of you. Ta-da! Anyway, guys and gals, that is about it. If I have forgotten to say it, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a very Happy New Year to you. Let us all hope 2021 will not be like the cursed year we are about to all escape from. <sighs> God bless y'all. Hope you had a good holiday and I hope you have a good new year. I'd also like to say I've recorded this at least six times now. Yeah. 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 That's why it's a rambling mess. That's why it's a rambling mess. Sheep. I'm still in the mirror, aren't I? I haven't walked off frame. I'm right here. <laughs>